In this video, we will show you how to segment teeth in Ortho Analyzer. Let's start with the definition. Segmenting a model set means dividing teeth into separate 3D objects. To start the segmentation process, go to the left toolbar and press the Segmentation of Maxillary Model button in the Preparation section. Before you start, it is important to inform the software which teeth are missing. If you wish only to segment some of them, you should also select the teeth that you wish not to segment as Missing. Right-click the chosen tooth and select Missing. Then choose a tooth that you wish to start from. Simply click on it in the Overview window. Position the tooth in an occlusal view. Set two points, mesial and distal, on the tooth, marking the width of each tooth. The red axis line will automatically be set perpendicular on the width line. Place all the points before making alterations. The software automatically selects the next tooth once the points have been placed. Afterwards, you will be able to do some alterations to their positioning and the tooth axis. If you prefer to see a model without texture, press the bottommost button in the toolbar on the right side and disable the Show Scanner Acquired Texture option. Remember that you can always enable textures again. After you finish, go through each tooth, look at the points you've set and examine the directions of the root axes. To activate a tooth, you can also press the control button and click on it. To edit points on the selected tooth, press the tooth axis button in the left toolbar and this gives you the option to move them. You are also able to set the root axis direction perpendicular to the 2D plane that you are examining at the moment. Simply press Set Tooth Axis and the direction of the root will be altered. Or you can pull the axis control point and make alterations this way. Go through each tooth and make changes if needed. Once you are satisfied with all the tooth axes and the points, press Next. The software automatically defines the line between gingiva and teeth. If you are not satisfied with the spline line, you can either go one step back and change the direction of the root, or you can manually change the spline line. Enable the Fast Edit option in the Edit Cut Spline section. Now you'll be able to draw the spline line with your cursor exactly where you wish it to be. If you disable the Fast Edit option, you can go and make changes to this line, grabbing and moving the control points. Once you are satisfied, press Next. Now proceed to the Sculpt step. Since you have segmented the teeth and the gingiva into separate 3D objects, you can remove the gum and see just the teeth. At this step you can use the Sculpting Toolkit, if you wish to make some alterations to the surface of the teeth. The Sculpt tools enable adding, removing or smoothing the surface of the teeth. When you are done, simply click Next. In this step, you can set the rotation center at the height you want it to be. Just grab the control point and move it. You can also do some alterations to the axis direction angle. If you have imported and aligned a CT scan, you can turn the CT scan visibility on. Then use the slider to decrease bone alpha value to add more contrast. Remove the gums. Now you will be able to see easily if you've placed the root rotation centers in the right positions. Once you're satisfied with the positioning of the rotation centers, press Done and the segmentation of the teeth is finished. We hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.